Jesus Christ to Dinamo, Maun Sasuan or Payen, Eradi Jesus Christ to Dinamo, Ye Yan Coponi and Dimafui, Yan Jeffone and Boafui, Asafu Yeho and we are mobile, Asafu Yeho and we are mobile, Wayan Eradi Jesus to Dinamo, Wayan Eradi Jesus to Dinamo, Who see a seer for no drum for no one in your men, Sabre Eradi, Bom Pias O yenga radi Jesu Christo dinimwan. O yenga radi Jesu Christo dinimwan. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Manda brujinda rabakayari in the Libya. In the Maria Murus Gindoro Bubuya. O Jesu dimo boafui. O Jesu dimo siesiefui. Wo Yesu di ma di nyina su tumfo yi Erade ma won saso ano pei na hu ya mobo Wo Jesus Christ di ne mo Amen 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 And ano pei let's let's worship let's worship Let's worship Asum ye him O ya Da eja and ye woo ya Asungi. I don't know what is wrong this morning with my come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's worship. Mm-hmm. We are Futu fu pam, uya da eja amye uya asunje him uya da eja amye asunje him.
C'est un miboué, manoir. Tu ne sais pas. bless you. God richly bless you. I'm going to start the word of God very soon. So don't go away. Don't go away. Just stay tuned. God richly bless you. This morning here on Hope of Glory Network Radio TV on Facebook. Hope of Glory Network Radio on Ghana web. Hope of Glory Network prayer line here in Maryland, United States with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Trenkansa. Keep on listening and God richly bless you. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Let's enter into the spirit of God. So powerful. Ramubi, 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 Ramubi. Let me know, Ramu. Ramubi. I'm just going to give you a short, a short exhortation. I'm just going to give you a short exhortation. So just keep worship, worship the Lord with me in the name of Jesus. God richly bless you. Stay tuned. Okay, sister, thank you, my wife. God bless you. No more, ma. Manda buru da ba ba ya ba ba. Ajin kwati mi ni. Mi ya uba na ma ba anapai. Mm-hmm. 
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Just worship. Hallelujah. Eradi wuma ena ya bawa ni mwe enu nti tie yen ya mpai bomo tie yen ya nsusi ye mo tie yen awa ya mfala shipu ye mo tie yen ya nshia mo ye mo enano pei wa ya na radi yesu krisa wa ya eja wa ya oba na wa ya hukunkuru holy ghost utuna munti amen enano pei nyaminshra ubia i was having trouble coming to facebook and by the grace of God, I'm now here. I think uh, uh, Apple has changed certain things on Facebook settings, and I need to figure out later. So I'm on Facebook now. With on, uh, uh, I'm on Facebook now with my phone. So don't call me on my phone. Don't test me on my phone. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Don't test me on my phone. Don't call me on my phone because I'm live mm -hmm. on my cell phone. That is the only way I can come on Facebook. God richly bless you, sisters and brothers. Yes. Yeah. So um, on the screen here, we have what you can do versus what you can't do. So it's just going to be a short exhortation to boost your strength this morning to let you know and understand that God cares for you. God cares for you. And he watches over you 24-7, no matter what you are going through. 
So you see, if you can understand what the Holy Ghost gave me to send to you, it's amazing. There are certain things that the Holy Spirit led me to understand this morning that there are certain things you can do versus certain things you can't do. So do what you can do and leave the rest to God, okay? Don't force yourself to do everything, especially what you can do. And definitely you need to know that or you need to understand that in life there are certain things you cannot do. There are certain things you cannot do. So this is how Jesus Christ put it. When Jesus Christ was teaching, he came to a point to explain to his disciples that there are certain things that human beings can do and there are certain things they cannot do. Okay, so let's look at Matthew chapter number 6 verse 25. So as I read, you can see what you can do and you, what you can do, okay? He says that, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life. Do not worry about your life. You know, look at that, looking at a topic today, this is what Jesus Christ is telling every one of us, that we shouldn't worry in life. Don't worry about anything. Do you know God knows that you are a woman, you need to get married? So what you can do is that, I'm going to explain it here now. What you can't do, what you can't, that means you cannot do, is that you cannot worry to get a husband. You cannot worry to get married. You cannot worry to get healed if you are sick. Is that simple for you? You can worry and your problem will still be the same problem. It will never be solved. So you can't worry to solve your problem. But what you can do, okay, what you can do is you can pray for God to open a door of marriage for you. Did you hear what I say? I say you can pray for God to intervene your situation that you are going through. But you can't worry for God to solve your problem. The more you worry, the more your problem increases or getting worse. So those that have problem and they worry, it takes longer time until when they change their minds and begin to rely on God only before they begin to see miracles. So maybe probably the reason why you are not seeing your miracle for such a long period of time is because you have been worried about your problem too much. You have been worried about your financial problems. That is why you and your husband are always going through financial difficulties. Because anything becomes stress for you. Any bill that comes become problem for you, become worried. Your build must not create worry for you. I'm not saying you shouldn't pay your bill, all right? I'm not saying you shouldn't pay your children's school fees. I'm not saying at your age now, it's not good if you get married tomorrow, it's wrong. But what is not good and what you cannot do to fix the problem you are going through is worry. So let me continue to read Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. Therefore I say to you, do not worry. Do not worry. Okay? About your life. About your life means do not worry 
about your marriage. Do not worry about your sickness. Do not worry about your financial problem. Do not worry about how you're going to pay the school fees. Do not worry about your rent, how you're going to pay for your rent. The more you worried about all these things, the more you thinking about committing suicide. The more you thinking about it is impossible. How am I going to do it? And yes, you can do it. That is why the topic this morning is say what you can do versus what you can't do. And that is why I'm reading the very words, the direct words of our Lord Jesus Christ concerning the situation you are going through. How to handle the problem you are going through. What you can do to fix the problem you are going through is pray. Pray. You can pray and God can send somebody free, uh, uh, from America, from UK, from Russia, from anywhere, any part of the world to come to Africa if you are not married. And the person will just come and meet you just like that. The person may be going to, may be going somewhere and will just meet you on the road or at the station or at the mall or whatever you can name it. Just, God just send the person to come and meet you. So wherever God will arrange the meeting, he is the omnipotent, he is the omniscient, he is the omnipresence. He can make an arrangement for your husband to come all the way from UK to Africa and marry you. If you only can pray, if you can only pray, and you, you, you're going to stop worrying, you're not going to worry anymore. Let me tell you, worried is a spirit of demon, satanic spirit, which always stand to block whatever God has for you. It's not a good spirit. It's a killer spirit. It kills your spirit. It makes you grow age. Like you grow like an old man, like an old lady very soon. It creates sickness, illness for your system. It it, it takes your focus. Worry takes your focus. It doesn't help you to focus on one particular thing, situation. And it draws your faith from Christ. So what you can do again is that you can't, you can't worry to fix your problem. But you can pray. Let me just go to the book of um, First Thessalonians. Is that First Thessalonians chapter five, verse sixteen. Go to First Thessalonians, Thessalonica four, chapter fifteen. Oh, sorry, chapter five. Sorry, there is no chapter fifteen in First Thessalonians. Okay, so First Thessalonians chapter five, verse sixteen. Let's start from verse sixteen. To verse number 19. 16 says, Rejoice always. You see, what you can do is to be happy. You can't worry about the problem you and your husband are going through to fix it. You know, 99% of women and marriage couple who worried about what the problem they are going through in their marriage end up divorce. Do you know that? They end up divorce because you have been worried and worried and worried and worried makes you more angry at your husband. Do you know the more you worry, you get more angry at your husband. There is nothing your husband will do that will please you. The more you get worried, there is nothing your wife will do that will please you. 
So it escalates the problem. It compounds the problem you and your husband are going through instead of fixing it. But if you keep on rejoicing, 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 be happy in the mood of happiness, it fixes your problem. That is why Paul here, he says, instead of worrying, he says, rejoice always. So you can rejoice for God to come in and fix your problem. That is another one. That is what you can do. And then, he says, pray without ceasing. That is number two. What you can do, number one, you can rejoice to fix problem. And then, you can pray without ceasing to fix problem. But you can't worry to fix any problem in this world. So pray without season. And then number three, what you can do to fix your problem? What you can do? I, I didn't finish with uh, uh, Matthew chapter 15. That, that's just an introduction. I will continue next week when we come from Monday to Friday. This is a new topic that God has given to me. What you can do, and what you can do, I like using the verses. What you can do versus what you can't do. Okay, so point number three here, which we will uh, go through next week from Monday to Friday, is that point number three is in everything, give thanks. So, give thanks. So, number one, rejoice always. Number two, pray without ceasing. Number three, Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks. And every, in even while you are still in that situation of uncomfortable in your marriage, thinking about how you're going to pay your bills, give thanks to the Lord in that situation, not worrying about it. You have the bills on your table. Put the bills on your table and begin to sing praises and worship and thank the Lord. God, I thank you that you have paid this bill. I thank you in the name of Jesus because I know all things are possible. This is what you can do for God to come in. But I repeat again because that is my topic. You can't worry. So what you can do and what you can't do, you need to understand it. Point number four, we're going to take each one of them in detail from next week going, so don't miss it. Today is just an introduction. We finished uh, your next word after I am yesterday, so God just gave me, the Spirit of God just gave me a new topic which we're going to expand it by the grace of God. So, point number four says, do not quench the Spirit. So what you can do is not quench the spirit. Keep the fire burning. Keep, don't quench the spirit means keep the fire burning. So you can quench the spirit in you and expect the blessing of God. You understand? You see, when you quench the spirit in, in you, you always say something that is very negative like, I am bored. I am so worried, Pastor. I don't know what to do. You must know what to do. What you need to do is to pray, is to rejoice, is to give thanks. So don't tell me, Pastor, I don't know what to do again. The Bible has taught you what to do if you have problem. So why, why telling me that you don't know what to do? That means you don't read your Bible. That means you are disobeying the simple instruction of the word of God that says rejoice, give thanks, pray without season, and then don't quench the spirit. You become so down. Sometimes you become so down. And then another word that people say is, I, I am so down. You are so down. If you are so down, then you go down to the grave. Because you are already down. And you go down to the grave. Do you want to go to the grave before your time comes? I don't think you want to go to the grave. Don't give Satan an inch in your life. Let me go quickly back to 
the main test which is matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 34 so i started verse 25 so let's let me study it again and finish a little bit before i close so therefore in matthew chapter 6 verse 25 now therefore i say to you do not worry about your life about your marriage when i get there the holy spirit is like move on move on and but let me read so do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink no about your body what you will put on is not life more important or more than food and the body more than clothing your life is more important in our culture we have a prophet a proverb that says if you have life meaning you can you have the opportunity to excel you have the opportunity to increase once you have life you have the opportunity to succeed once you have life so your life is very very important imagine if you are sick in your bed what can you do again have you gone to the hospital to see the people the sick people on hospital beds some people they have money they have children they have beautiful wives i'm talking about one wife they have everything they have cars but now if that person want to use the restroom somebody has to help him and unfortunately some of them even go to use restroom on their bed that is where they can do it look at that they mess up their, themselves it's not them the situation where they are now they can do anything but you you have life you can open your mouth you can open your hands why don't you rejoice and give glory to the lord but you are worrying about tomorrow you are worrying about a man even who is coming to kill you you don't know that that man yet you don't know the man you are going to marry yet and you are worrying yourself you want to get married you want to get married you understand may god help you we're going to continue god doesn't want you to worry but uh I'll continue when we get to verse number 34. It says that, therefore, do not, that is verse 4, chapter 6, verse 20, uh, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Into mama on hammer, mama on your jay, watch now, and you jay a cool, and you jay a yellow, and you jay a maho. I'm not saying all these things are not important, they are very, very important in life. But that is not your problem to think about it, that is what I'm saying. It is God's problem. So let God take care of it. If you know that is the responsibility of God, you will be free and live a free life. That's all. God richly bless you. We, we continue tomorrow. Let me pray with you. Father God, I give you glory and I thank you for this morning that Lord, your word has come and it has come to nourish your people from the spirit of worry and fear and intimidation of Satan. I pray that Lord, you continue to keep them safe and continue to provide for every one of them with Jesus Christ who didn't want to how I didn't drink and could go be around but in some as she said we with Jesus you don't know I don't know me will be around just have mercy on your people in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord amen hallelujah hallelujah God richly bless you sister gifted God bless you too Sure. And uh, if you want to hear more of this and detail of this topic, come. 
every morning, Monday to Friday, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., Ghana time and UK time and other foreign countries time remain the same, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., and you shall surely be blessed. Don't forget to share this page and also um, subscribe to the YouTube page. You go to YouTube and then check or search for Hog Network, Hog Network, and you will be able to watch our live videos. God richly bless you. Shall we share the grace? Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Famiye, famiye ni aupe, ni aou, hallelujah, udi u, na tomi u, e radie. Okay, so I'll see you Sunday morning, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. before we meet on Monday. God richly bless you and stay blessed. Bye.